There is somewhat of a controversy going on with NBC's Christian Cooper, Kristen, excuse me, Kristen Cooper, who interviewed Bodie Miller after his uh, bronze medal run uh, in Alpine, uh, the Alpine Score G event. Uh, so Super G, excuse Super me, G. Super G event. So he won another medal. He's 36 years old, but his brother died uh, last April. So. You know, she she kind of opened up the questions to Bodie Miller after his run, and then he started breaking down. Now, what I want to talk about with you, Michael, is when is when is it too much to ask an athlete about something like this that happens? Now, firstly, the questions here, and then I'll get to you, is Cooper asked first, for a guy who says that medals don't really matter, that they aren't the thing, uh, you've amassed quite a collection. What does this one mean to you in terms of all the others? He asks and he says, you know, this one's just a little different, this one is different. And then Cooper says, Bodie, you're showing so much emotion down here, what's going on through your mind? And then he says, you know, I mean a lot, obviously just a long struggle coming in here, it's just a tough year. And then she says, I know you wanted to be here with Chelly. Uh, his brother, really experiencing these games. He died at 29 years old. How much does this mean to you to come up with this great performance for him? Was it for him? You know, and then he sort of trails off with his answer. When you're looking up at the sky, this is Cooper again, at the start, we see you there and it looks like you're talking to somebody. What's going on there? And then he breaks down. So then the public, I feel like we're giving too much credit to the public, uh, but they, <laughs> but they, uh, you know, they went after Kristen Cooper. They were mad at her for sort of asking three questions about his brother's passing and if that inspired him. And look, as a member of the media, and I, like you're a member of the media too, you know, we should not shy away from those questions, but is it ever enough? Is it ever too much well, when addressing it is these often, It is often sort of too interviews? much. It wasn't too much I didn't feel here. This is also the Olympics. A lot of these backstories is, are what make They're all key. of this so uh, interesting. We don't know Bodie Miller. It's not like he's a... Well, the other thing you have to remember is, you know, it, it, the social media, one of the things that social media has ruined is everything. Uh, because <laughs> you, you watch an interview, if you're with three friends and your mother and your uncle and you're watching this interview in the Olympics and your uncle says, oh, what's this poor, what's this poor guy got to go through this interview for? And your mother says, oh, be quiet, it's the Olympics, not a big deal. Fine, it stays in the living room. Now, that, love uncle, going with this. that uncle has a platform to tell everyone and then get people to agree and then it, it's just piling it on. And, and here's what, what Bodie Miller responded, which I thought was fantastic. Yeah. Did you I have, you I have, have those that? tweets. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, and so, I mean, the point is, did she go too far? I don't think so. I don't either. We, you know, it wasn't in poor taste. This was the storyline of Bodie Miller's Olympics. 36 years old. He lost his brother. He did do that. He looked up to the sky. I want to know what was going on with Bodie Miller. He won a bronze medal. He should be damn happy, and he was happy. Yeah. And it was it was emotional. And he broke down obviously after that last question, and then she sort of acknowledged, and she even I heard her right. say, "Sorry." Like and, she, and she. And what would people have wanted to to hear from Andrew Weibrecht, who's not very uh, chatty, who won the silver medal in that very same event? Do they want to hear him say, "Well, it was a tough race. You know, that third turn was a little icy. Uh, a lot of the skier. I was in the 29th spot." He's and, a hockey uh, player too. No, no, but he, you know, they I'm all skis like that. But he 29th spot, and uh, and it was a bad draw, but I made the best of it, and uh, I got lucky actually because it was some soft snow with the ball. <sighs> You're right. Yeah. But you have yeah. Kristen Cooper asking the questions that people want to hear from Bodie Miller, and the questions that anyone would ask in that situation. There was nothing uncomfortable about it, and she pulled back. It ended when yeah. he couldn't take it anymore. Right. You know? And and she she said, look, sorry, and she like gave him, you yeah. know, a pat and she felt bad. Like that's you never want to go into that situation to piss someone off right. or you never want to make them cry. Like she didn't have any ill harm, ill intent at all with Bodie Miller. As you said, this is the story. This is the Olympics. Right. We need to know and the back story. Read what Miller said. The only person who had, who matters, whose opinion matters here is, is Bodie, Bodie Miller. Miller. Yeah. So Bodie Miller tweets, "I appreciate everyone sticking up for me. Please be gentle with Kristen Cooper. It was crazy emotional and not all her fault." Hashtag he to the moment. Next tweet. My emotions were very raw. She asked the questions that every interviewer would have. Pushing is part of it. She wasn't trying to cause pain. That is so incredibly soulful and true. Yeah. We don't know context ever. Kristen Cooper, who I don't know, probably Former covers... skier. Probably covers... Yeah, I know, but I, I don't know her work that much. Right, right. Probably covers skiing all year long, right? These guys, these women who, who ski, they all know her. The same way that tennis players, uh, you, you know, know Mary Carrillo and Pam Shriver. The same way that, that hockey players know Pierre Maguire. 
They, so they ask questions. They, it's, it's a friend asking a sure. question, you know, and asking, doing her job. Totally, totally within the, the, the bounds of reason, and, and it wound up that way. Too. And here's what Bodie Miller also said on the Today Show. I've known Kristen a long time, and she's a sweetheart of a person. She, he was talking to Matt Lauer. I know she didn't mean to push. I don't think she really anticipated what my re reaction was going to be. And I think by the time she sort of realized, uh, she realized that I think it was too late. I don't blame her at all. I feel terrible that she's taking the heat for that because really it was just a heat of the moment kind of circumstance. And I don't think there was any harm intended. No, and few, it's also, yeah. she did what her job was. She made compelling television. That was great television. People were watching. They got caught up in it. Right. It was moving, and it also moved Bodie Miller. So she did, not only did she do her job, she did it really well. Yeah, some of the ridiculous hate on Twitter. Gosh. NBC has no shame. How many times do they need to make Bodie Miller cry for his dead brother to promote their ratings? Wow, the thing that interviewer just did to Bodie Miller was super disgusting, and this is just <laughs> one of the many. Uh, that reporter just did everything short of kick Bodie Miller in the junk to try and get him to cry on TV. But why no, do you read this no, stuff, Rick? No. Why do you, like, that's the point. Why would you bother going in to see... Isn't it enough what you To provide some color to basically the criticism that the, the unwanted, unneeded criticism that she's taking. That's a good so answer. So we can all agree. That's a good answer. And that's where we'll end it.